Hi, it's Kira. Okay, here it is. Here's my rough pitch for Eaters of Sin. Uh, we're surrounded by social media and content is being bombarded towards us from all forms of media all day long and we eat it up. So uh, that's where the title comes from, Eaters of Sin. Uh, what it looks like it's about. Um, four college friends decide to go and stay in the motel room where a murderer committed suicide. Scare tourism, like staying in a haunted house. Um, so the backstory is a former television reality contestant has been, had been the focus of an international manhunt after he was accused of murdering his model wife and then disposing of her naked, mutilated and beaten body in a dumpster, dumpster near Los Angeles. Police believe that the 32 year old managed to sneak back into Canada illegally as law officials on both sides of the border searched for him. The self-proclaimed millionaire was found dead of an apparent suicide in room two at the Thunderbird Motel in the mountain town of Hope, British Columbia. What it's really about though, it's about Kirsten, one of the four friends uh, who reluctantly agrees to go on this expedition with her friends. Um, she doesn't like sensationalizing this death. She doesn't like the idea of a GoFundMe page to finance the trip even if it's based on the hope of recovering some missing money and donating that money to charity. She doesn't like using social media in this way to cultivate a following. She doesn't like Ryan, another one of her friends, whose idea it was to go stay in this motel in the first place. She doesn't like the I Ryan's fascination with this whole morbid history of this case. But she can't really come up with a good reason not to go, so they go. She goes along with her friends. That's something she struggles with throughout the story. The inner conflict and the going along with the group. Uh, social media is just a part of daily life. Uh, even her university classes um, have them create blogs and YouTube channels to connect for group projects. It's unavoidable in this day and age. Um, you cannot insulate yourself completely from content being bombarded at you and social media. So she goes with the flow for the most part of the story. Now, Hope BC is where Rambo was filmed. So it's a very interesting place to visit um, for this scare tourism. So there's lots of interesting things that, you know, she's not totally opposed to. She goes along with her friends. She, there is, you know, there's just this deep inner struggle on why are we doing this? Why does this matter? Um, and Ryan is an enigma. She's not sure if he identifies with John Rambo. He seems obsessed. Like this is this visiting hope where the movie Rambo was filmed has been on his bucket list. And she's not sure um, what her motivations are, let alone his motivations. So that's the, the struggle and it will ultimately come to a wonderful climax and that is Eaters of Sin.